Aloha everybody, we're back for another FSD video. Got a scenario here where I'm going to do a target pickup order um, inside of a parking garage. So we are currently here at world's busiest Costco here in Hawaii, and we're gonna take about a 17 minute drive over to the Ala Moana Mall Target, uh, where we should park in the pickup parking spot. I have pretty low confidence that the car is gonna be able to do it, I have high confidence level that it will drive me safely there. I just don't think it's going to be able to get us in the exact parking spot that we want. Let's get started and see how it does getting out of the busiest Costco. It should be going this way to our right. That's where the easiest exit is, and it looks like it's going to do it. I'm still riding around in chill. I really like the feel of chill. I think if we would have given ourselves some some more room behind there, we there, that that extra retake was unnecessary. Um, I'd like to see them get rid of those as much as possible. It is something that V13 did. Um, FSD V14 does it less. We got some indecision here regarding if we were going to let this guy go or not. He kind of came out and wasn't sure either, but came, came on out. FSD gave him plenty of room. Great job. There's no gate at this parking garage that we're headed to, but it is a tricky one. There's a double stop right here. No stop sign here, but we do have to stop because it's painted on there to stop. The guy waved us through. Is FSD going to let us? No. So he did wave us through. I don't think you guys were able to catch that on camera, but he did wave us through to go ahead and proceed, and FSD did not do it. Probably, I'm guessing, because his car was still rolling forward. He didn't actually come to a complete stop. Nothing wrong with that on his part, but FSD is hesitant still. V14 is very careful in its driving. And if it's not 100% confident, it's going to start pumping the brakes. We have a green light, lots of construction. FSD is moving through here, no problem. As I was saying before, the, the parking garage that we are headed to is a very tricky one. And the main reason is the entrance. There's only one entrance that I as a human would use. There is a second kind of, I don't, it's not really a back entrance, kind of side entrance, but you would have to navigate through the Alamoana Mall, getting a bit of a nag here. It's weird, looking straight ahead. Um, you would have to navigate through the Alamoana Mall and then there's kind of a little bridge that takes you from the Alamoana parking garage into the Target parking garage on the second level. I would not do that. That parking lot system in Alamoana is very tight, very dangerous. Um, that's the world's largest outdoor mall. Um, so there's a lot of people there all the time. What we want to do is take the entrance to the garage. Let's see what's mapped. So there's an entrance to the garage right about here where that little road is printed. We want to go in here and then up into the garage. If FSD circles this way, it will not park in the correct spot. So like I said, I we'll see if it does it, um, but I want to go to target pickup specifically. That is a specific spot that the car must find and that is a problem that Tesla AI needs to solve. I know they said in future updates, we will be getting improved quality of parking as well as reasoning. And I would like to see them add more specifics into the parking aspect. It's doing a great job just pulling in and parking uh, in normal drives. But what about cases like this where I'm going to a pickup or um, maybe like in my last video, we were at the last minute, we changed our pin to the tire center. If we had actually been going to the tire center, it needs to know that, Hey, I can park in the tire center parking this time 
because we are going to be going into the tire center to have service done. Um, it needs to be able to allow me to choose, do I want to park far from the entrance? Do I want to park close to the entrance? Do I have a handicap permit? Like, can I park in those spots? Maybe I can. If I can't, I definitely shouldn't be parking there. So I would like to see, as they say, improved parking quality. Obviously, that means that they're going to be improving the, the way it parks as far as being in the lines, being straight, pulling all the way in, those sorts of things. I'm getting some really bad nag over and over here. This is about my third one. I'm wearing sunglasses, but I'm looking straight ahead. Is it something I'm doing? You guys let me know, but I did not get this much nag on V13. This feels more sensitive. Anyway, with the improved parking, um, obviously that the improved parking quality is the way it pulls in and being in the lines and such, but I would like a little more control over whether I want it to park far away or close. Um, handicap or not, pickup spots or not, um, all of these things are good to have. We're coming up here on Chinatown on Oahu. Pretty tight roads, as you can see, busy area. I think chill is perfect for this type of driving, moving us through at a reasonable speed. When we're unconstrained, chill has a tendency to do about two over the speed limit. Getting us there comfortably and most importantly, safely. If you're a returning viewer, let me know in the comments below. Drop me a shaka. Um, I would love to see your support in the comment section. Like and subscribe if you can. That means a whole lot to me and allows me to keep making these videos and keep going on making this channel the best it can be. Thank you so much. We've got about an 11-minute drive left here. Not too much traffic in the now downtown area that we're driving through. But as we approach closer towards Ala Moana. Looks like we'll be hitting some traffic. I do have a, looks like I have an update there. Last I checked, it was a navigation data update. I'm very curious to see if it will add speed cameras because Oahu is getting probably 15 or so, give or take, speed cameras um, starting tomorrow. Uh, so, it would be nice if that navigation data update included it. We'll see. I will get that update done for the next video. Got some lane change and decision there. Why? There's no one around us. There's someone behind us in our lane, but that's the type of indecision that I'm saying needs to be fixed. You can do it, Tesla AI. You've you've done it before. V13 was very smooth, um, but it it did have lane change hesitation as well. There was no one on that right side. The car clearly at some point had made the decision to change lanes. Why did it abort? In previous versions, I've had a lot of issues with oh. So you're still wanting to change lanes, okay. Well, it's still chill, decided it wanted to move forward a little bit, okay. So you're willing to make that lane change at a stop, which feels a little more dangerous than making a lane change as we're pulling up to the intersection. It's very interesting. I wonder why that is. Lane hesitation is a thing that FSD has been plagued with for a while. Um, and part of me wonders, is FSD always looking 
for the gap and then once it sees it putting on the turn signal and getting over or is it putting on the turn signal and then looking for the gap and then going because the order of that really does matter if you're you shouldn't really be turning on your turn signal unless you've already identified a suitable gap to move into otherwise you're just sitting there with your blinker on so I would hope that the car would see a gap and move into that gap after it puts on its turn signal versus putting on its turn signal and then looking for what it can do. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. I think that would fix the, the turn signal eagerness that FSD has. I think it might also help the lane change in decision. I don't know exactly how they change lanes, but it needs to identify the gap, then put on its turn signal, then move into the lane safely. So we're coming up on the parking garage. FSD needs to get over. There's a gap. It could have gone. It's too late now. It's too late. So why do you have your turn signal on if you're not ready to make a move? I'm glad you're not slamming on the brakes, but you need to move into the lane if, if, you, if there's a suitable gap while you have your blinker on. We ended up getting over there anyway, no problem. Maybe safer because there's no cars behind us when we made that change, but if you wanted to wait for that. Why did you put your blinker on back there? I want you to put your blinker on only when you've identified a suitable gap that is ready for a lane change or will be ready as the car in that lane is passing. So let's make doubly sure I have parking garage selected. I do want to give the car the best chance at making it into this garage. We've done nothing fancy here other than put in target and park at a parking garage into the nav. So based on the premise of V14 going parking spot to parking spot, it should be able to do it. We have a big truck next to us. Why did we just put on our left turn signal? Especially when we've kind of got a lot of traffic here. I would put that in the category of lane change hesitation. Also, we're in chill. So just chill out and stay in the lane that we're in here. If I have it in the chill profile, we only have one block to go before the parking garage entrance. One block to go. And if we miss this turn, we're going to have to circle all the way around the block to try again. If it parks in the wrong, the completely wrong garage, I'll take over, try and get us on the, on the right track and then see if it can find the right spot in the correct parking garage. Okay. Are you going to move through this yellow? Good. All right. Now this is a bit of a hidden entry too. I would be slowing down right now because I'm not exactly sure where the entry is. It's coming up. Okay, I see it. It's right there where that parking sign is, right here. This is where we should be going in. Go. Nope, didn't do it. So we've missed our parking entry. What does that mean? Are we going to go around and park in the lower level there of the garage, which by the way, has no access to target unless you walk around the block to a different entrance. Very good job here, leaving a gap for these cars to move through. Lots of pedestrians in this area. We've got our blinker on nice and early. I like it.
Now this intersection here is interesting because it's a kind of a three-way stop, but they're angled and there's multiple entrances and there's also a fourth entry that doesn't have a stop sign straight in front of us, but no hesitation from FSD. Good job moving through there. Now, the way it looks on the nav, I think it's going to try to park under here and that would be the wrong thing to do. This is not target parking. And it didn't do it. So where are you going to park? Where are we going? The only other way is to go through Alamoana and through that bridge right up there. Nope, this is a one way. So that's an intervention right there. The car was trying to drive down a one way, clearly marked one way road. Let's see if I can drive us into the correct entry of the parking garage. We'll be right back. So this is the entrance that we should have pulled in the first time. I'm going to pull us in. I'll re-navigate us to target. And let FSD do the driving. Now, it needs to take us to the pickup parking spot. There's no way for me to enter that currently. So, but the, you know, this is a real life scenario. I'm coming to Target to do an order pickup. So that's a common thing a lot of stores do. Tesla, let's, let's implement it. Let's get store pickup spots. I'd like to see us a little more to the right. We're kind of like hogging the road here. Um, that van pulled out a little bit and FSD moved over, but we probably could, could have done a better job moving over to the right side. Now pickup spots are straight and to the right one aisle. So yeah, it's not, it's not going to go there unless all the other spots are taken, I'm sure. Now we, we did just pass a few spots right up front. Looks like it selected this one here to our right. Let's see, are you going to get it in one shot? Are you going to get it? You can make it. You're close, but you can make it. Keep cutting it. Keep cutting it. I'm going to put my foot over the brake. Okay. Good, so no interventions there. Let's see, how do we look? We're a little off to the left, but hey, increased parking quality is coming. Great job, Tesla. If you're still watching, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Aloha, guys.